William the Conqueror had recaptured York from the rebels. Now he wanted to teach them a lesson for defying him. He began a brutal campaign of destruction to crush any further resistance, known as the harrying of the North. Villages and crops were destroyed. It is said a hundred thousand people were killed. With ruthless efficiency, William the Conqueror had secured obedience in his new kingdom. But it wasn't to last. It would be thrown into chaos by his own children. When William the Conqueror died in 1087, his favorite son succeeded him. King William II, known as William Rufus. But 13 years into his reign, disaster struck. While out hunting, he was killed. William's youngest brother took his place as King Henry I. But there was a problem. At the time, Henry's elder brother, Robert, Duke of Normandy, had been on crusade. When he returned, he was furious that Henry had grabbed the throne. From Normandy, Robert attempted to invade England to claim the crown from his brother. But he failed and returned home. In retaliation, Henry struck back. In a reversal of 1066, he crossed the Channel and invaded Normandy, intent on undermining his brother Robert's rule. His first target was Bayer. This rich and splendid city was one of the jewels of Normandy. Henry was to begin his campaign by unleashing his forces on the city. Bayer was about to feel the wrath of the English army. Greetings to you all and welcome back to Let's Play Age of Empires 4. We're here on the Norman Campaign, Mission 3, The Fall of Bayeux. I was kind of hoping my introduction would span the loading screen, but it appears I've underestimated the loading screen. Okay, you haven't missed anything, as you can imagine. I just got bored of waiting, so I wandered off somewhere. Let's continue. In the brotherly feud over Normandy, King Henry I set out to make an example of Bayer, a town still loyal to his brother Duke Robert. Henry's archers took up position on high ground outside the city and faced an immediate attack by Robert's cavalry patrol. Ah, so now we have the longbows. I commented in the previous mission that I didn't have longbows. Or... Rather, I had archers. And I wondered if they were longbowmen. But I guess maybe the longbow hadn't been invented at that point? I don't know. I'm not historically accurate. Now I have longbowmen. I'll assume they've only just been discovered. So why are longbowmen interesting? They can create spikes in the ground. These are effective against enemy cavalry charges. And they have a technical name. Palings. You can't gain attack speed, you gain armor. You are inferior to your father in every way. Knock of Vince's initial army was the correct choice. One king and... 70 archers. Feels like a lot of pressure was being put on the king here.
which just the palings are incredibly useful because they counter cavalry. And cavalry are the counter to archers. Which makes longbowmen incredibly flexible. Not that I need it anymore because I have a wall of spearmen that I can use going forwards. Why, why are you running? Right, we're going nowhere near that tower because we'll never get through it. Actually, that's not true. These guys have flaming torches. This must be a frightening moment for these people. I'm not here to murder villagers. Alright, we have been we've been defeated here. Spikes people. I know they're not positioned properly, but anything's better than nothing. Well, oh, that's a sneaky flank you've got for that. Never mind, they changed their plans. They had a good flank going. I guess they decided it wasn't really fair on me. It's alright, we're going to capture the forest village. If you'll excuse me, I am going past that tower from earlier. I wonder if I've just gone the wrong way. That might be my mistake here. I'm losing a lot of units. We've got eight spearmen remaining. All right, mate. The windmill's not never done anyone any harm. We can leave that. No, seriously, this thing's gonna take so long to burn this tower down. Armour up, lads. That was my attempt at micro. You never see it again. It's alright, they got tactics. We got tactics too. You're not going to win this if you just never engage me. I've got bows. Alright, do you want to just burn that down so we stop attacking it every five seconds and we can focus on the enemy? Screw it, let's just get in there. Push my own archers out the way. I dare you block your king. I know, you carry on with that. The archers can kill the horsemen. Save the torchbearers. I ran them into even more danger. One, it's got 16 health. All right. Okay, he's alive. How much damage do you do, by the way? Your dad. Whoa, you're strong. He's stronger than his dad. Screw this tower. We can't take it. I wonder if I could have gone further this way and forded the river. It doesn't look very deep, does it? Oh, things to remember for the inevitable second attempt at this mission. 
All right, men, let's get those palings up. Think about using proper terms. They're very stylish, these chaps. They were holding their bow sideways for a bit there. What is this? Oh, waiting to save, I see. A blacksmith, you say? I can do that. I suppose the game thinks I haven't built a blacksmith by this point, but no, I needed it for the previous mission. Level 2 was too much for me without a blacksmith. Now, I'm no expert, but I feel like I'm going to need some siege in order to get through this. I'll just follow the instructions for now. With a blacksmith on hand, Henry's infantry would soon be ready to construct siege equipment. Yeah, I seriously thought about doing that in the previous mission too. Get some more farms. So this upgrade, siege engineering, is the one that I think I mentioned last time. It allows my archers and my spearmen, if they were still alive. To construct battering rams and siege towers. Siege towers sound impressive, but they're the the sort of ladders on wheels that you push up to a wall. So you, you push it up to the wall, you climb straight up. If I've learned anything from my previous mission, it's that I'm not just going to be able to walk in there and conquer the base. So let's accept our lot in life. I mean, I tried to get the palings up, but I also selected my king at the same time. See how dare you try to conquer this place that I've already conquered. But he knew that so long as Bayer still stood, the city would not give up the fight. If you're wondering about the language they're speaking, it's just old English, which sounds a bit Germanic. Sounds a bit Franco as well, but interesting. It's most likely accurate. This game prides itself on its historical accuracy. I have no reason to doubt it. I personally don't know what each timber theos means, but I'm willing to believe it's old English. You have no idea how many rams I'm going to make, by the way. I have no confidence I can break through this place. You there, I want to build this arsenal. Looks exciting. No, no, don't... Leave the deer alone. It's going. It's responding to my request. I'm not sure how I can talk to the animals quite so well, but I can. I'm going to set up a hotkey for this. That'll be useful going forwards. Little houses, so we can build more units in total. Why am I setting up palings against spearmen? Oh, it doesn't matter. It's all good. Oh, 
I'm in no rush. What have we got here? Range damage of non-siege. That does sound good. That sounds like archers. Gonna build a mining camp next to the gold. 4,000 gold here, just sat on the landscape of England. Accurate to current day. Maybe not. Maybe we'll get a barracks this time, so we can see what kind of units we can get out of that. Stuff the horsemen. We'll go archers and footmen. Who wants to make it you? You have been nominated. Congratulations. Don't eat your worker. That's not good. Long women gain the ability to set up camp, which heals them. I like the sound of that. Spearmen for the anti-cavalry. Or man-at-arms, which are your sort of typical foot soldiers. I don't know which is better. But these can be upgraded. Therefore they must be better. That's what we call logic. Logic rarely works out. This guy ever going to learn his lesson? Sending tiny little detachments of spearmen is not going to stop me, alright? Can we be clear about this? I'm very excited after we win a skirmish. Right, I'm going to build myself some outposts. What is an outpost? It's a tower. Why is it not just called a tower? I don't know. Maybe this is the historically accurate name for a tower. Let's get that upgrade going, so we can have upgraded men-at-arms. Sure, ranged armor sounds good to me. They've got a lot of archers positioned on these walls. Since we just repelled an attack, let's build the battering rams. That's it, everyone work together. There we go, do we think three is enough? Should be. So the idea behind the towers is that obviously they're buildings, so they're very hard to destroy unless you use fire. And you can also garrison units inside it, so I can put five archers in each tower. Th three? Okay, it's five in multiplayer. In the multiplayer mode, it was rebalanced, I guess, to five. It's three in campaign, okay. I'll work with that. Still got some upgrades I want. I will demolish this entire forest. Uh, break the villagers. Oh yes, I'm sending my battering ram into battle. Not by choice, it was just in the middle of the archers that I'd selected, so it was getting carried along. It would probably help if I put a few archers into these defensive structures I built. You're right, Your Highness. You're doing a good job, man, it's okay. Just stand firm and all that. Soon we'll learn how to make campfires. I didn't realise we were so historically... 
inept that we haven't learned how to make fire yet, but it's coming. Damn it, I never should have gone for these guys, they cost gold. You there, I need more gold. Why well, the two fights breach the walls? They, uh... It's not gonna go quick, is it? You know what, I, I have my doubts, I want more. I also want a few more houses. This is a nice street I'm building here. Except for this little kink in it. Don't really need to learn how to mine gold faster, considering I'm about to run out. That seems somewhat wasteful. We'll improve our melee damage. Ah, we'll improve our wood chopping. And then I think we're happy. Now it's just unit time. So you can put units inside the battering rams. They don't do anything when they're inside the battering rams. They can't fire out or anything like that. But they are protected from arrow fire. The idea, if the, your opponent has archers all, all along the wall, you want to send battering rams in to punch down the walls, you can hide your people inside the battering rams to protect them from the arrows. Battering rams are very resistant. They are essentially buildings. They have siege armor, if you want to call it that. So again, they're only vulnerable, really, to fire. And gunpowder, but we're not in that age. I'm trying not to block in my entire city, but I think that's fine. All these upgrades are fine. More men coming, more archers coming. Units coming along nicely. I'll have another archery range. Just so we can make faster. I'll also have another barracks. So I need to turn relevant hotkeys. I'm not attacking until I'm at maximum supply. If we don't learn from our lessons, then what was the point in taking them in the first place? Shall we make a campfire just because we can? Ah, uh, that's nice. Nice and toasty. You know what, why not? There's no limit to the number of these things we can make. Oh, I mean there is, there's a food cap, but let's ignore that for a minute. How's the gold supply doing? It's gonna run out pretty soon. It's okay, we're gonna attack pretty soon. Honestly, these little skirmishes you're sending out are a complete waste of time, man. You want to stop this. It's embarrassing for all parties. The biggest mistake I'm going to learn from is I'm going to save before I attack. We reckon this is enough? Let's try. We'll try it. Uh, yeah, sure. That looks like an apt description. Let's go, men. 
King's going in with you. No fear. We'll test out the battering rams on this. Nice one, archers. You soften it up. Look at that punch. Attack, men. Armor up, men. You guys attack the wall. Particularly the one they're stood on. I'll show them. In the meantime, I want the reinforcements to actually arrive at the battlefield. The king's just waiting. The walls have been breached. We're in. We're not that in because we're too busy dancing. We got a good wiggle on. Let's let's make a slightly wider hole, shall we? I wish you good luck. Try to assist. Keep smashing. I want a hole I can actually fit through. I just built some horses. That's a big mistake. It's, it's not actually a mistake, but... It doesn't fit with the vision. So what a pro would do here is they probably put their battering rams on a different hotkey. So the battering rams could focus on the buildings. As everything else attacks on the infantry. Unfortunately, I've already bound them as part of group one. I don't know how to deselect them from group one. Aha, I've got it. I've got it. How's this for a tactic? Rebind group one. Desperate times. Stop attacking around the buildings. My king is really in there. Fantastic, in we go, men. Probably should have gone through the gate, on reflection. The hell are we doing? That's it, you got it. Take this thing down from the back. They never expect it, it's where they're weak. What is this thing called? Stonewall Tower. I was expecting a more historic name. Again, don't know why I'm setting up spikes against infantry. Just felt right. I'm gonna be honest, Bio is falling a lot easier than York. But you see the power of actual siege engines against buildings. You see how resistant they are to damage. They're coming under a lot of arrow fire here. Yeah, 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 he's fine. His death was greatly exaggerated. But yes, if they don't send any units with flaming torches, they're never going to defeat those siege engines. Archers can... Well, okay, eventually they will, but... It's like trying to kill a tower with archers. It's just... It's a fool's errand. And that's an impressive red palace you've got there, but... Again. What's it gonna do against this? Not much, I'd wager. Good news, my lord. Uh, hang on, we're coming, my lord. Good work. Mission complete. Get out of there. You know what? Instead of fighting to the death, why don't you revive your king? Oh, never mind. Let's get some campfires down. It will passively regenerate my units a little bit. 
Not much, but every little helps. You know, if you guys really want to take down this tower, then but you go ahead. It's absorbing archer fire. It's kind of annoying. My lord, back in the fight. My lord, run for your life. I can see they're nearly all defeated here. It's probably just this guy. Bayeux is mine. This is exactly how it happened, by the way. Blow for blow. Perfect accuracy. Burned, and the people fled in terror. King Henry basked in the victory over his brother, Duke Robert. Take that, brother. But Henry would not stop until all of Normandy was back under the English crown. What a hero. Apologies to anyone French who's watching this, but what a hero. But hey, that was the fall of Bayer. Next time we'll do the next mission. I don't know what it is, because I never played this game before. But hopefully you'll join me for it, and I shall see you then.